Today I'm replacing the wheel bearing on this BMW E36. To get to the wheel bearing, you have to remove the wheel hub. So to get to the wheel hub, I had to remove the brake caliper, sway bar, axle, and the brake rotor. I've replaced wheel bearings before on my 350Z, but this was the first time I replaced a pressed wheel bearing. So I had to rent tools like this slide hammer to take off the wheel hub, which was very fun to use. Next was removing the wheel bearing, so the e-brake comes off along with the dust shield. Now I'm using this bearing remover and installer kit to press the bearing out. This is where I learned that having the proper tools really matters because I have been procrastinating this job for so long thinking it was harder than it actually was. The dust shield was rusting a bit, so I brought it to my paint booth and sprayed it with some protectant, then installed the shield, e-brake, and pressed in the new wheel hub. Lastly, the brake rotor, axle, and wheel studs go on. Lastly was checking if it actually made a difference, so I moved the wheel from 12 and 6 and 9 and 3 and there is no wheel play which is very exciting and I can't wait to drive it but I probably need to figure out this oil leak first.